Hey guys, Brooksy Tech here, and today we are doing a video on how to upgrade the processor on your Lenovo Think Center Tiny. This specific model is a M73. Um, it should also apply to an M93P, M93, etc. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, I'm going to remove the Wi Fi antenna just to make things a little easier to get out of the way. Uh, if yours doesn't have Wi Fi, don't worry about this. So let's go ahead and take that off and just set it to the side. And then on the back here, there's going to be one little screw that holds the top cover on. So let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, and once you get that out, you can just set that to the side. And then the top cover itself should just slide off. You've taken your hands like this. Um, it should just pull off and then you can just uh, take it off and set it to the side. All right, and then showing us the uh, internals here. So this is uh, the fan right here. We're just going to set that to the side after we unscrew it. So let's go ahead and take those screws out. Um, the screws don't come out all the way. You just need to loosen them enough so they're no longer threaded into the cooler itself. Okay, so that should be good. So let's go ahead and just set this to the side. And then uh, here is the actual heat sink. Before we undo the heat sink, there is this little speaker um, that's plugged in the motherboard that kind of attaches into the cooler itself. If you pull back this little uh, latch right here, you can just pull it out and then just kind of set it over here to the side. All right, and let's go ahead and remove the uh, heat sink itself. So it has four screws and we're gonna remove them in a diagonal pattern. So you should just uh, unscrew them like that. And you, you can tell when they're all the way done, they're spring loaded. Okay, so we'll do that one. Okay, and this one here. And then the cooler, once it's loose, um, it's kind of trapped by this little lip here in the case. So you need to pull that out. So kind of just lift up and you can pull out that way. And then before we put the CPU in itself, um, we are gonna clean off the cooler itself and then the old CPU. Uh, the thermal compound isn't perfect. I just, um, I had put this in here kind of just to test fit, um, but it should uh, generally make better contact, but it'll do that when we uh, put the new cooler in or the new CPU in. So we'll go ahead and just wipe this off here. Um, you could use like some rubbing alcohol or something similar to get a better clean. Um, this is a low power unit, so I'm not too concerned. And then we'll uh, clean off the old processor just to um, get it clean. If we put it in storage or whatever you do with it, just to keep your hands clean and so it doesn't make a mess. All right, so once that's done, um, we are ready to take the CPU out. So there's this little latch here. And if you unclip it, you kind of... Um, push down and then pull away from the, the uh, CPU bracket. And then if you push this forward, the metal cover should come off. So pay attention to the old CPU. It has this little dot up here in the corner and we're gonna wanna make sure that the new one has the dot here, the little triangle there, and then there's little guiding tabs as well. So just be really careful when you take this out. There are pins in here on the motherboard itself. And if you bend those, um, you're gonna have a bad day because the motherboard will be ruined. So uh, let's go ahead and pull this out. You can kind of just grab in the top and bottom here and then just pull it out and set it to the side. All right, and then we got our new one. This is a 4330T upgrading from a dual core Pentium. So get that extra hyper threading and the clock speed's a little higher. So, so again, just be careful when you put it in and then just line it up. And then it should just lay in there flat. You don't need to put any pressure on it. It should just sit in there and then we're going to go ahead and put the bracket back on. So take this uh, bracket there and make sure it gets under this screw. And then you can just push forward like that and then kind of push down and then in and lock it in place. So make sure it's locked in place. And then now it's time to add um, our thermal compound. This is MX2. Uh, a lot of people like to use MX4, thermal grizzly, etc. Um, this should be perfect for my needs. And you don't need a ton of this, just a little dot in the middle. So we'll just put it like that. And that should be plenty. And that'll spread out um, when we put the cooler on. So let's go ahead and set this to the side. All right, and we are ready to reapply the heat sink. So we're going to take the heat sink, again, nice and clean there. And then you're going to slide it back under the case, like so. 
and then make sure it is lined up. All right, I think we're ready to screw it in. So let's, so again, you're gonna to wanna to do this in a diagonal pattern. So we'll just uh, start screwing that corner in, and then this corner, all right, should be all lined up. And then once, when the screws are completely tight, it'll stop. So you don't need to over torque these. It should let you know when it is the perfect level of tightness. All right, so screw that in and then this corner again as well. All right, and then before we put the fan back on, let's go ahead and put our speaker back in. So it just kind of goes back in this little slot up here and then it'll clip in place. And then the wire um, has these little place to tuck it in. So we'll kind of, so it just stays nice and out of the way. So we'll slide that back in. All right, and then we are ready to put the fan back in. So just line it up with the screw holes and they should be ready to be tight. All right. And again, these don't need to be too tight, just hand tight, and that should be plenty. All right, let's make sure these are all tight. Okay, that should be good. And then take your uh, top cover and then just kind of place it um, mostly on all the way and it should just slide back in and then you can take your screw and if you can start it by hand it makes things a little easier all right so that's started and we'll go ahead and start screwing that back in all right and then we'll put our antenna back in all right, and we are all done. Hopefully it boots without any issue. Um, so just make sure that when you do this, you just you know be careful, take your time, and also make sure that you get a processor that is supported. Um, you can find that on the manufacturer's website, uh, Lenovo. If you type in the model number, it should say what CPUs are supported under the spec sheet. Uh, this 4330T that I put in here is one that actually came with this unit um, as an option. So I know it should work without any issues. But yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Um, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them down below in the comments and catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.